Hey guys, this is Rusty Water 6 and um, this was requested by a viewer of my Logistics Pipes 0.1.4 video and they wondered if I could make coolant cells um, and water cells. I was not able to figure out how to do this unfortunately. It seems that when I put it through the red power when the when the water cell goes in the deployer it just won't right click the water. I don't know why. It works when I do it manually but not automatically. So I was able to make one easily with buckets. If um, you want to watch this, how to get like an automatic system to get water buckets, then go ahead and watch. But what I have here basically is some red power wiring, some blue trick stuff to power the retrievers, and basically consists of two retrievers, two chests, and a deployer. Some red power wire, some extra stuff, just so I can tell you like colors and stuff and uh, a couple repeaters, a timer, and a toggle latch. And so what goes on here is you load the buckets in here and then the buckets will get pulled out of this retriever and they go into this deployer. And what a deployer does is it acts like you're right clicking the item to the nearest block in front of it. So it's like right clicking this base of water with a water bucket and this is an infinite pool so it'll just regen and then this retriever will pull it out and put it in this chest and I just have a little button here to flip the toggle latch and this timer starts up the whole process takes about eight seconds per bucket and this is probably not the most efficient or the best like usage of resources but I'm in um, I can spawn whatever I want so I'm not really worried about resource usage but you can probably make it a lot more smaller and compact I'm just giving you the general idea of how to do it so what happens is this timer will go and since um, this retriever needs to pull out this bucket first, then it will um, just automatically go straight to it instantly without using um, the repeaters. So it pulls out a water bucket and goes in there. The next thing that happens is um, this has a redstone charge inside of it, like because um, this is the repeater, this is set to 6 ticks. Well, not exactly 6 ticks, it's like 32 or something, I don't remember but it's um, fairly up there so this um, will hold the charge and then it will pulse this and then it'll keep the charge for a little bit but it'll be enough to basically right click the water and I will show you this in a minute and then finally this is holding a charge here and then it passes on to this next repeater and holds the charge and then it finally goes down the green wire and will pulse this retriever and it'll pull the water bucket out and then as soon as this um, the power goes off of this then the timer will go back around and start the whole process over again so let me show you how that works right now so press the button it flips the toggle latch, starts the timer, takes 8 seconds to start up because it doesn't immediately pulse. There goes the first pulse, the bucket comes out, goes into the deployer, gets pulsed again, makes a water bucket, gets pulled out, and there's a little bit of lag. Sorry about that, I don't know why. And then gets put into the chest, and then it'll repeat, and then it'll do it all over again. Why are you lagging? Stop lagging. Something must have popped up in the background. Anyways, you get the general idea. If you have any questions, um, please comment um, in the comment section. I am sorry that I could not figure out how to do... Like, I can even show you that it doesn't work right now. Uh, why is this lagging? One second. Okay, I am back, and it is not lagging. Awesome. Okay, so yes, I will show you that this will not work. So let's get a cell, water cell. Or no water cell, just an empty cell. We'll put it in this deployer right here, and we will take this redstone torch and pulse this wire right here. You can even see the deployer activate if you look in the middle right there. You can see it move. Nothing. It doesn't work. Don't know why, but it just doesn't normally, so you can just right click and get water cells, but I'm sorry, I can't figure out a way to do that. But to get a coolant cell, it's fairly simple. You just have to put a water cell inside an extractor from Industry Craft 2. Let me show you what it looks like real quick. It looks like that block. You get um, rubber out of it from sticky resin. So you just take a water cell and put it in there and get it all powered up and it will make one coolant cell. But beware the coolant cells do not stack so you have to keep pulling this out before more water cells can be made. Or more water cells can go through there. 
So yeah, um, thanks for watching again. Um, if you have any questions, please comment. If you want to see more modded type tutorial-ish stuff, I am like hosting a private server for me and a couple of my family members. And if you want to see our progress on there, um, please comment and I will show you it. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching.